All right, we're gonna get to the barbecue, correct? Yeah, so we've, you know, those ribs have been in the foil, we got that juice, we're gonna finish just a final barbecue mm -hmm. glaze. We always like to put that on at the end. Okay, some people like to put them back on the smoker. I, I really don't, I just like no. to- either Nope, way. nope, either way, either way, it's a matter of preference. So we're gonna take those out. See, they're already nice and tender here. Oh man, these look good. And then we're just gonna cut into them. We'll get you a nice center bone here. Okay. Go ahead and try it. You can try it. Let's. We might need this. <laughs> hey, I'll be You're gonna tell me what am I? What am I about to taste here? You know. So I want you to taste smoke. I want it to be a juicy rib. I want it to bite clean oh, from the yeah. bone. Have a little heat to it. Some sweetness. I wish you guys could taste how good this is. <laughs> Wowzers! That is a good rib. You will want to taste these these week <laughs> this weekend. Oh my gosh, that is good. And that was even that long. Well, guys, I'll be finishing this rack of ribs when you come back to me in a little while, guys. You better, you better keep lots of paper towels handy then if you're going to keep. That's what we were saying that's a dangerous game right, eating, eating barbecued Ooh. ribs on live TV. Oh, Jordan, that yes. kudos to Jordan right. for eating ribs on television. Yeah, they I mean, looked good. They did. They did. Oh, all that, and if you didn't see him making it, there was butter and more butter, and then honey oh, and brown the sugar. The honey and brown sugar, and oh, perfect, perfect. Really, that sauce could be used for a lot of stuff. French yeah. fries. I mean, you could, there's multi. That sauce is just uh -huh. to, to waste it sitting in that uh, good that stuff. bucket. Boy, all right, delicious eating. <laughs> We're here with buckets this morning, and we have some cool things. If you come and drop off a gift, you could come see these guys on what date? December 26th at 7 p.m. at the Resh. It's our 2018 tour we're going to kick off here, and it's called Amazing Feats of Basketball. So come down, donate some toys to Toys for Tots, get some Harlem Globetrotter tickets. You know, it's a awesome. the double dip. Now, Buckets, I know that you have probably heard of Toys for Tots before. Why do you think people should continue to give each year for the holiday season? Uh, you know, sometimes there's kids who don't have the opportunity to receive gifts or, or get toys. And, and I know um, as a kid, when I was a kid, you know, you love toys just, mm -hmm. just naturally. You see them all over the place. They're advertised all over the place. So I think it'd be pretty awesome to give to Toys for Tots. So maybe one of those kids who didn't have an opportunity to get a gift mm -hmm. receives one. And it might be something that's their favorite. Yeah, exactly. We just had a woman who came by and said she gives each year because she actually received these gifts for her kids a couple years ago, which I find so cool. Now, you just did a trick earlier with me. Do you think we could try it again? Of course. Are okay. you ready? I, I hope, I hope. We're going to send it back to you guys as hopefully I can do this. Uh, I'm a little nervous. Send it back to you guys. Ah, nice. Way to go. Nice. nice. Perfect. <laughs> Woohoo. Her luck was about to run out. He grabbed the ball yeah. back. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Jordan. Egg. Good afternoon. I'm Kevin Rumpa. Thanks for joining us. We're following multiple breaking stories going on today. First, a Sturgeon Bay officer in the hospital after getting shot by another officer. This happened just on a private on a private road, rather just off uh, West Elm Street about six o'clock this morning. That's where Jordan Betts joins us now live after hearing from police about what happened. Jordan. Kevin, this all started when police say just down this road, they got a call of a disorderly man that was going after his dad with a knife. Now, that's when say officers finally had to t really talk him down. It took quite some time, but they finally did. Once officers got the knife away, that's when police say the man became aggressive. The subject went into a defensive posture, um, an aggressive posture, and the officers took him to the ground, uh, had to be tased. And uh, during that hands-on period, um, another officer who was not part of the hands-on handcuffing uh, firearm discharged and it struck uh, another officer in the leg. The name of the officer has not been announced, but we do know he is expected to be okay. And the 26-year-old has been booked into the Door County Jail. Live in Sturgeon Bay, Jordan Betts, Action 2 News. House in Appleton is getting a new address today. Yeah, movers put the house on wheels, and this morning it will be moved to its new location. Our Jordan Betts live with exactly how they got that 116-year-old house back on its feet. Well, the house is already off the lot and onto the street. Workers are already getting at it this morning. Now, Lawrence University took over this home in 1928 and has used it for various reasons over the past couple of years. And now they're putting the 2700 foot home in the historic district about just a block away. Now you can see it's been taking a lot of work to get this home on its wheels. 
Well, you start putting some beams in there. Um, you gotta shore everything up, all the supporting areas. Put our crib towers in and our jacks, and then we hook it up to a big hydraulic jacking machine and jack it up. He makes it sound so simple, but it looks really difficult. It will take them around four to five hours to move the home just a block away. People are welcome to come watch now. A little fun tidbit with all of the equipment in the home. It weighs about 180 tons. So guys, you can imagine why it's going to take so long to just move it only a block away. Live in Appleton, Jordan Betts, Action 2 News. Good morning. It's Black Friday and a lot of shoppers are hitting the stores early to get the holiday deals. We'll get the weather from Steve in just a minute. It, but first, Jordan Betts is live at Cabela's in Ashwaubenon where the doors are just opening. Good morning, Jordan. Hey, good morning, guys. Things are looking pretty good. More than 700 people outside ready to go as we take as the doors have already opened. People have gathered outside waiting a couple hours just to get inside to get their deals for Black Friday. When talking about those deals, looking through the pamphlet just a second ago, we're talking about prices dropping from 50 to 60 percent off for some things. Looking at sweatshirts around $30. Guns, uh, firearms are on sale. Hunting gear is on sale, fishing is on sale, you name it, it's probably on sale. As you see, they're putting out all the carts and everyone is excited. That excitement probably came from all the donuts people have been eating outside. People from Cabela's have been making fresh donuts and chili all morning. So these people stay, can stay pretty warm as well as the heaters that are outside. Uh, now talking about what are these people here for? Well, it's been a variety of things. People say they're getting hunting gear. Some people say they're just here to enjoy Black Friday as it is. But this morning we're going to keep a lookout as well as we're going to go to the Bay Park Mall to get a look at what else people are checking out this morning, so lots of excitement. Live at Ashwaubenon, Jordan Betts, Action 2 News. Let's head out to Jordan Betts, who's live at Bay Park, Bay Park Square Mall in Ashwaubenon with some ideas. Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. For many of us, it's hard not to grab everything you see on the shelves for Black Friday, but I got a few tips maybe before you head out the door this morning to maybe if you come to the mall or some of the department stores. So let's take a look at that. Consumer Report says do your research before you head out the front door. This means look at the ads that you see in the paper. Go online, really find out what you want when you go into let's say them all or online like Cyber Monday. Also, big thing, have a budget and stick with it because if you don't, this could lead to overspending. <laughs> You want to you know, get a budget. You want to have a, a list of who you're buying gifts for, what you intend to buy, and how much you intend to spend. And whether you're at home by your computer or you're in the stores, take that with you. That's your guide to guide you in and out of the stores, get you in and out quickly so you don't overspend and you don't purchase something for yourself, which is a, a bad habit. Another good tip is take the amount of cash out that you want to spend at the stores. Maybe you don't trust yourself with swiping that card, but do hold on to that if you're going out through the crowds. Now, this morning I've seen people that have said they're just coming out to shop in general. Some people had a few certain items they wanted to get, like at Cabela's. They wanted to get hunting gear. They wanted to get a little bit of just everything. Honestly, check out the good deals that I saw from 30 to 70% off. Here at the mall, people said the same thing. They're just out for Black Friday shopping. Live in Ashwaubenon, Jordan Betts, Action 2 News, sending it back to you, Steve. And let's talk about EA Air Venture because it kicks off today in Oshkosh. Yeah, a couple big numbers to throw at you. Expecting about 550,000 people and 10,000 planes from 80 countries, all heading to Whitman Regional Airport. And let's go live to Jordan Betts, who's in Oshkosh this morning. Tell us what we can expect. Good morning. Well, to add some more numbers to it, almost 4,000 planes are going to be here or already will be here this week here at EA Air Venture. We are joined here by Trisha this morning. morning. You are part of what you call the Four Corners. That's Tell correct. me a little bit about that. Well, at the heart of the Air Venture is the EA Four Corners tents, and that's kind of where we help to um, our members, our guests, to orient themselves to Air Venture, and that's what I oversee. And tell me a little bit about maybe if someone hasn't been to EAA Air Venture before. Tell me what they can see at those four corners. Well, actually, I always recommend if you've never been here, the Welcome Center is the best place to start. That's where we give you an overview of what's going on. Um, it, we can tell you there like where to find things. We can give you maps, the forums, guides, etc. It's a little overwhelming if you've never <laughs> been here before because it is a huge, huge event. So it's a really great place to start. And we're in that's in the that's at the front of the. It's actually just before us, right here, or right here before you get to the Boeing Plaza. That's where it's located. Gotcha. And then what else could people see around this area? It's a lot of fun, I can tell. Yeah, there is a lot of things going on. So obviously. 
Obviously, we're standing here in Boeing Plaza where there's a lot of great aircraft on display. Um, also part of the Four Corners is the Spirit of Aviation mobile experience where people can get hands-on with aviation. We've got some fun hands-on activities. we got flight simulators, things like that. Um, and then, of course, as you go through the event, you can see a lot of different aircraft, you know, whether it be vintage, warbird, some of the home-built aircraft, which is a huge part of your venture. So there's just a lot of great activities to go. And what would you say is maybe your favorite part about coming to the Four Corners in this area? So it's, it's a lot to deal with. <laughs> Um, you know, I have to say being able to interact with the staff and kind of hearing from us, that's a really great part. If you want to talk to an EA staff member and find a little bit more about what, you know, what we're doing, what's going on, the Four Corners is a great place to do that. Um, but probably my favorite place is just seeing here in Boeing Plaza, seeing all the different aircraft. Every day it's different. It never is the same, so that's a lot of fun. There you go. And maybe if someone's a little bit lost, how can they find you guys? Uh, using the app. I always recommend using our app. The, you can download it right before you even come and kind of plan out your day. And then there's actually uh, the Google Maps helps to try to get you from place to place. Hey, that's good because yeah. you can get a little lost here with it so big. <laughs> now, it's, the kickoff is today. They got a big concert tonight. We thank you so much, Trisha, for Absolutely. joining us early this morning. We're going to have more, show you some more of these really great planes. You guys, you don't want to miss it. Live here in Oshkosh, Jordan Betts, Action 2 News.